Orange County Register Digital. Hi, I'm Ian Hamilton, technology reporter at the Orange County Register. I'm here to talk today about Fisker Automotive. I uh, got my first interview with Fisker in late 2011. This was right as they started shipping their $100,000 car, the Fisker Karma. Hybrid vehicle, you can drive it around about 50 miles, completely electric, and then activate uh, gas in order to go a little bit further. Before my interview, I got to do a test drive of the Karma. Drove it out of the uh, parking lot. Well, you press the pedal and it just goes. Fisker hit a year of some of the worst news you can possibly imagine. Recalls, they changed out their CEOs, they had fires, car fires. One of their car fires happened in the middle of Silicon Valley. The car burst into flames across from a restaurant where all the venture capitalists and angel investors go. 338 of the cars were destroyed by Superstorm Sandy. They were just sitting on a dock there ready to be shipped out and they all got destroyed by flooding. Fisker had something like 600 employees. They're now down to something like 50. It's been a sad story to watch Fisker. It, it seemed like those people uh, really believed in what they were doing. They believed that they were creating technology that the world had never seen. I talked to people who were walking out of their headquarters, 200 people laid off in a day. They all loved the car. They talked about how they got the design right. One of the things that happened to Fisker is they got $1.2 billion in funding from private investors. They also got almost $200 million from the federal government on a loan. That loan complicated things for the company considerably, made it a political issue during election times. When another company that got green funding uh, from the federal government, Solyndra, a solar company, went under, it became a poster child for bad U.S. policy and how the government shouldn't invest in these companies. And Fisker sort of became the next example. Henrik Fisker, the name of the company, is no longer involved. He resigned in March, but he still went in front of a congressional committee and answered questions about how they got that money and how they used it. The big questions at the end of the day to me are, how realistic were their projections from the outset? They expected to ship something like 10 times the number of cars that they actually did ship in the first year. And it cost something like $1.4, $1.5 billion for them to put those 1,500 cars on the road. But they just couldn't overcome this incredible run of bad luck combined with what may have been a rush to market. I mean, Hamilton talking technology for the Orange County Register. Orange County Register. We are here in the service of Orange County.